is The Don Brady Show with your host, the Sultan of Swagger, the Pontiff of Positivity, the Titan of Transport, the real Don Brady. Good morning, everybody. Don Brady here, Vice President of Dealer Success for Ship Your Car Now and the President and CEO of Don Brady Consulting, Inc., and the host of The Don Brady Show on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Um, I'm actually on location in Pompano Beach, Florida, and I hope I said that right, um, but I'm outside of my Airbnb, and I wanted to do the, the episode two of The Don Brady Show right here on location. Um, I wanted to talk about phone-ups, and specifically phone-ups for salespeople in the car industry. Um, my phone script, as I call it, is really plagiarized or personalized. I'll use personalized, that's the better word. Because um, I kind of took pieces and bits from Joe Verde and from um, Stuker. I mean, it's just kind of a mix and, and things that I heard from other people, but I, I basically I personalized it. And it wasn't necessarily the most popular phone script, and I'll explain that. Um, when I say not popular, it was not popular with the BDC type people of the planet or the trainers, a lot of the trainers out there, um, or even some of the GSMs and GMs. Um, because my phone script wasn't about setting an appointment. Um, it seems like a lot of phone scripts, and I know this is kind of an old school thinking because now, you know, it's not always about getting the customer in. But what I use my phone script for, and it worked. 97% of the time, it worked 100% of the time. Um, and, and the reason it worked is because I was, when I, when I say it worked, it was, I was after two things. I was after their name and their phone number. And really, I was after what they were looking for. And the reason that all came about is, and I'll admit it, it's a little bit because of laziness. We're all supposed to know our inventory, know your inventory, know your inventory, know what used cars are out there. And the reality is, I didn't walk the inventory every day and look at the mileage and the cars and the cars that were in. I, I should have, and, and, and really, if I had more time in the day, or I chose to use my time to do that, I might have done that. But the reality is, when a customer would call in, there was times where I had no idea what they were looking for. And I had no idea if I had exactly what they were looking for in stock. So basically, and I wish I had two people here to, to do the role play, and if you ever get bored and you want to call me for to role play, I'd be happy to do it. My phone number is 330-581-5247. Um, but anyway, and, and Larry, my, my co-host, he didn't make the trip down here to Florida, um, mainly because of early budget cuts of the Don Brady show. I couldn't afford a second plane ticket. So Larry's man in the home base. And of course I'm, I'm here in sunny Florida. So, but anyway, when someone would call in, they would just call and, and I'd answer the phone. Hi, this is Don Brady. I can help you. And they'd say, Hey Don, I'm, I'm calling about the, uh, Chevy Malibu. And I, and I would always say, great choice. Are you looking for something new or something pre-owned? And they said, well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking for, you, you had one on your, on your website. It was a 2018 Chevy Malibu. And I said, oh man, what a nice car. And in fact, there was someone actually test driving it yesterday. So let me do this for you. I'm, are you before I do that, are you looking for a, a car just like that? Are you looking for something that has more equipment, less equipment, um, light colors, dark colors? Well, you know, I, I like I kind of like the one I saw on the internet. It was a lighter color, and, and yeah, it was kind of loaded up, the LTZ. And I'd say, okay, great. You know, actually, someone was test driving it yesterday. Let me do this for you. I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to check what I to make sure that car is still available. And if it's and if it's available or not, I'm also going to check to see if we have anything else like that. It shouldn't take me too long. Are you calling from home or from work? Well, I'm calling from work. Oh, great. And the number there is, and he would say three three zero five 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 one two one two and i'd write that down all right and in your first name john okay and your last name miller all right john miller and i let me repeat this three three zero five 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 one two one two like i said john i'm going to check just to make sure that car is in stock and i would uh and i'll check to see anything else that we have that might be similar to that fair enough great all right and then hey john do me a favor while you why why i still have you do you have a pen and paper? Do me a favor, write my name down. My first name is Don, D-O-N. My last name is Brady, like the Brady Bunch. Um, and I always said that because, you know, it's easy to remember the Brady Bunch. So I would, um, then I would hang up. And the reason I would do this, and again, I didn't go for an appointment, I didn't try to do anything. And even if I knew the car was here, 
to me, I felt like I was putting a hook, right? So what I would do then is I would walk over to the used car manager and I'd say, hey, um, did we still have that 2018 Malibu? And he would look at me and say, I don't know, Don, do we still have that 2018 Malibu? Why don't you go outside and look? So I would go outside, I'd touch the car, I would look at it and I, I would, uh, you know, I would get excited about that car and I would know everything about it. I would know how many miles on the car and, and if it had been smoked in. I mean, I would just kind of do the customer thought is when I'm looking at that car. And then I would call that guy back with such gusto and I'd say, hey, John, great news. That car is still available. Speaking of availability, when are you more available, mornings or evenings? I got a couple of appointments open at 315 and 415, which would work better for you, right? If the car wasn't, if it didn't in fact sell, and even if I, when I took that initial phone up, if I knew it sold, I was not that salesperson that would say, oh yeah, it sold yesterday. Oh, okay, click. So I would I would then go to the used car manager and say, hey, I know that car sold yesterday. I got a customer that was hot on it. What other cars do you have? Can you give me some ideas? And then I would I would then come, come, come back with Gusto and say, hey, hey John, great news. That car actually did sell yesterday and it was a nice car, but you're not gonna believe this. We actually took in another one that is actually, to me, it's nicer. I mean, I was, I was just in it. It only has 28,131 miles. It's clean, it's never been smoked in. I even checked the Carfax, John, and it is amazing. So I did my phone up script really to come back with Gusto when I made that call because because the Don Brady he called originally was a little bit too lazy to know the whole inventory, right? But now I've got his name, I got his phone number. And then I took it a step further. And I so I set the appointment then, right? 315 today, perfect. I then went out and I did a personal video of that car behind me with Don Brady. Hey, when you could you come in, remember to ask for Don Brady. John, this is the car. I can't wait till you see it, right? And then I'd send him a quick video. Then I stalked him. I would go online. I would look up, look him up as best I could, right? Um, I would, I would uh, find out. You know, you can find out everything, right? I, I used to do whitepages.com, and I don't know if that still is free anymore. But I used to literally write. I would then take the time to write a handwritten postcard or, or letter and say, "Hey, John, it was so nice talking to you today. I know we have an appointment for three fifteen. Um, but I, I just wanted to tell you, I'm looking forward to meeting you, and and I wanted you to know that Don Brady, I'm your guy, for net, whether it's now or in the future. And even if you end up buying somewhere else, John, I can be your guy. I can help you with get tires at discounted rates. I can get windshield wiper blades. I mean, I am a true car guy. I can help you in any way that I can. Um, by the way. Um, a lot of my business is based on repeat customers or referrals. Do you know anyone right now looking for a newer pre-owned vehicle? I'd really appreciate it if you sent them in to see me. Your friend in the car business, Don Brady, and I'd send a, I'd send a letter. So I would send a letter. I would send a video. Um, I would send an email. I would do anything I could, even if it was go outside and yell, Hey, John, I'm still here. I was all about follow-up. So I actually created follow-up from the very first second that I talked to the customer at the phone up. So. It was just one of those things where, you know, a lot of people out there don't do the follow-up. I would do all those steps even before they bought the car. And of course, when they came in, I made sure the car was clean, tire shined, had a had a sign in it that said, sometimes I would, this car belongs to John or welcome to um, so-and-so motors, John. And, and, and literally, it, it also stopped from, a lot of times it stopped from a customer coming in and working with another salesperson because I was so prepared for John. So hope this helped. Hope you have a great day. I'm really looking forward to the next week here in Florida. I've got a lot of people to meet and see, and I'm, I'm gonna be posting a lot on social media. So if there's anything I can ever do for you, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.